Alright. Main building. And as easy as it looks. Now why the Crest of Desire works so much better with the Hollow Palm build is because I can memeify it. Meaning that I could use a uh, chest piece with no sockets. Boots with no sockets. No freaking uh, weapon. No gloves. One amulet and one ring. But when I try to do something like Righteous Fire, I remove the need for Hollow Palm, which opens up a glove socket. Now this glove socket, I was able to get the lowest amount of sockets possible with these two here, meaning I have a three socket setup. But I mean, I might as well have another ring now. Because, you know, I got this one ring, I might as well put another ring on there. I mean, what's the point of having just one empty ring slot? There's no point. There's no point there. And I could just take these gloves off and run it without the gloves. Perfectly fine, but like, there's no justification for not having the gloves there. With hollowed palm, the justification is hollow palm, you need the gloves empty. So now, there's an obligation to feel it. So this is not very meme worthy. This is why I did not do righteous fire and I did hollow palm instead. But, let's take a look at what a one socket, ignoring all the other sockets that I have in this build, Righteous Fire build will do. Now just for reference, Flame Dash and Vitality are in the non-socket sockets, and I have Righteous Fire in this socket, with a 35% increased quality from items, so it's a 58 increased burn damage from Righteous Fire. I actually get to use the fire damage from Calm's Heart, and I got a new one, one with 100 life regen while moving, because why not? It was fucking 1c might as well grab it up and uh, let's run a map do i got any uh i'll call it toxic sewer till the end of the days but a waste pool i do have a waste pool and of course i don't have a fucking let's do it right here biggity bam cannot leech fine with that fine with that yeah i used all of that just to get it yellow because I'm all out of scourging. Now let's uh punch a couple of these people in the face. Look at that. They can do some pretty solid damage, even though I have all this life ridge in. Let's put this uh, vitality on. You die right now, well. I initially built it not thinking I'd have to use gloves, right? I was like, oh, I don't need to use gloves. But, uh... So I put uh, Purity of Fire on the amulet. And the amulet has Purity of Elements. So I got two auras there. And then uh, Flammability for the Curse. And that's kind of... That was the general setup. But then I realized, like, partially through my build that I had uh, gloves to use. And then I just got depressed about the whole thing because this isn't meme worthy. This this video's lame. This build's lame. There's nothing memey about it. My spirit's spent. Mentally, physically, emotionally, spirit is just spent. Yeah, right. Like anyone does Calandra content. And it's not even very strong. It dies. Now I could have done a Inquisitor, which might have been a little better. But I was already on my fucking duelist, so I just repapped them to champion. This right here is pretty nice because once you go below 50% life, you get a big boost in life recovery. You gain 25% of life when you gain adrenaline. It also turns off your righteous fire, which uh, I don't know why. I don't know why it turns off righteous. Removes all ailments and burning. There you go. That's why. Turns off righteous fire. And I figured fortification, make them super tanky. And this right here means I don't have to run and grab that. Because the 30% increase effective auras on this right here gives it a plus 5% additional maximum fire dam uh, resistance versus having four. Anyways, let's go back in it. I'm gonna make this one short because I'm not enthusiastic about this video, this video, this build, and I almost didn't even do a thing, but you know, I spent some time testing it out. I might as well do a video. 
I guess this might be a justification for live streaming because then I wouldn't have to make a video. I just live stream me failing at making this cool build, which isn't cool because it's not meme enough or it's not strong enough. And you have to be one or the other. You have to be a memer or you have to actually make real builds. And we all know I can't make real builds, so I got to be a memer. See how my righteous fire turned off? Kind of good little protection mechanism, but you got to turn it back on from time to time, which is not really that annoying actually probably ought to change my potions up which I did not do I mean, still got fucking lion's roar on here I think the flammability curse is the uh, star of the show without it like the damage is really bad well, damage is always good on, like, regular minions, but on the elite minions, the damage is just atrocious without the uh, curse. It's even bad with the curse, but the curse makes it tolerable. Let's see what it says for offense. I don't think it says anything good for offense, like, when you got Righteous Fire on there. Yeah, it doesn't say anything, so you have to go, kind of go down here. Uh, 156,000 damage per second. That's probably pretty accurate. It's probably a two to 300k build here. Let's uh, enjoy this uh, very long boss battle, which I'll do here. If any, of, if any of you guys have an idea on how I can justifiably not use this glove socket, it would make it more meme -y, More memeologist, and I would very much appreciate that. But I looked and I couldn't find any gloves that had no sockets or any way to remove the sockets from a glove. It's not that far off from the uh, Hollow Palm build. They're both pretty slow, but the Hollow Palm build was definitely more damage than this. Definitely quicker. Another reason I didn't go Inquisitor is, you know, if you can't use the Ignore Elemental Resistances node from crits, the Inquisitor is lost 90% uh, of its power. The other 10% is being able to regen life and energy shield, but that's only good for a real build. For a meme build, no one cares about that. Like, I don't care about that with this build. I got enough life, I got enough regen. It's pretty solid. My regen with that uh, vitality and a socket that's not a socket is uh, 1,802. One thing about me is... Uh, I get very tied up and confused on the uh, thousands, like uh, 10,000 and a thousand kind of like the same thing in my mind. It's, it's hard to say. I often say the wrong thing. Like if I have to say like 10,735, sometimes I'll say 1,735 and vice versa. My spirit is spent. It's super weird thing that I do, but I do it all the time and it's very annoying. Good thing I don't work with math all day long, am I right? Hint. I, I kind of work with math all day long. Literally all day long. When I have a job. Currently, do not have a job. But when I have a job. Do data analysis. Report development. Database design and engineering. All that kind of fun stuff. I can't do this just yet. Uses math. Not math like they taught you in school. It's a different kind of math. No one uses the math like they taught you in school. Never had to do a fractal or a fucking matrix. That ain't to say that, you know, they should stop teaching math in school. I believe the mental capacity that uh, is used for learning math applies universally to all things because once you're able to understand the logical processes and flows of math it could be applied basically anywhere including basic like uh, debate logic reasonings people can make defenses for english and i just won't hear them because fuck english i got stuck trying to spell elite how the fuck is there an i in elite e elite not elite. I'm in a light 
Path of Exile player. No, I'm an elite Path of Exile player. Why is there an I in elite? Yeah, fuck the rule. I before E except after C or some bullshit. It doesn't make no sense. You can say it makes sense, but it doesn't. Because English doesn't make sense. It's a language that has no fixed rules. Everything is memorization and exceptions. And I fucking hate it. Give me a goddamn rule book that I can follow. Can't even imagine foreign people fucking learning this dumbass language. But maybe other languages are just as fucking stupid. I don't understand why we haven't come together as a fucking society. As a people. And combined all of our knowledge of linguistics. Get all of the linguistic professors. Fucking get Noam Chomsky up in this bitch. It's the only fucking linguistic I know. <laughs> uh, get some other linguist in here. Get the fucking Oxford Dictionary lexiconographers. Get them all fucking together for an orgy. Then after that orgy, create a brand new language that the entire earth speaks that fucking makes sense and uses logic and rules. There's no one word that means 10 different things depending on its context.